Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here once again to share to you the Word of God. And the readings that I'm going to share is the readings for this coming Sunday, February 5, 2023. To start with, let's have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen, Lord God. Thank you for this opportunity that you give us the time to listen to your words, O Lord. Listen as your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that we're going to take up. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer, longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house, just so. Your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Here, brothers and sisters, this Sunday's Gospel passage tells us that as salt of the earth, we must lead a purpose-driven life. Jesus asks, asks all of us to be life givers, an agent of life. And we must help others to showcase their flavor and uh, create the best menu to promote synodality. Uh, synodality example in is the communion, participation, and and a mission second is to promote interconnectedness to to connect others our fellow citizens our fellow christians third is uh, to promote humanitarian concern our concern to others especially to the needy one to the afflicted to the oppressed Yan po. and then jesus wants us to empower others to live life to the full and fulfill their calling and we are the salt of the earth because when we dissolve our selfishness and empty ourselves for others we create flavor that give seized and vigors to people's life the world comes alive because we continually season it the, we continually season it by responding our purpose to be the salt of the earth. And Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And as light, we are made ourselves to be. And we make ourselves visible. Not to shine, but to illumine. Meaning, to enlighten others. And as emphasis, the light is the fastest moving reality. We are here to share this quality, to move fast to our mission, in our mission, to be the light of the world. And our burning, uh, and our uh, burning, um, and our burning desire to enlighten others is fulfilled by making ourselves a reflection of Christ, the one true light. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, and brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the first reading. A reading from the um, book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, 
Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become you like me. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Here, brothers and sisters, in the first reading, by practicing the works of justice, like removing in our midst the oppression, the malicious speech, the false accusation, and also by helping uh, the oppressed and the afflicted. So, uh, help, helping the oppressed like... Uh, feeding the hungry, uh, clothing the naked, and then um, sheltering the homeless, and then satisfying the afflicted. God's people, we as people of God, can be the light that break forth like the dawn. Amen. So brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when I came to you, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, brothers and sisters, St. Paul reminded us that the cross of Christ is the power of God. The cross may be a foolish, is a foolishness for the wise in this world, but for those who believe, it stands for salvation made possible by God. Christ suffering and death. So it is clear here, brothers and sisters, that the cross of Christ is our salvation. That through Christ crucifixion and death on the cross, we are saved. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we are already finished, let me give you my hipla, the one thread sentence of the three readings. Empower other, empower others to live life to the full and fulfill their calling. And the reflection question, ang atin pong pagningilayan for the rest of the week, how can we fulfill our mission to be the light of the world? And then another one is, how can we respond on Jesus' call for us to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth? And our harmon is feeding the hand, uh, feeding the hungry, clothing the, uh, clothing the naked, and in sheltering the homeless, and any other works of mercy.
Amen. So, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, let us have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit that uh, we understood the readings that we were studying. In Jesus' name, Amen. And help us, O Lord God, to share these words and uh, tulungan mo rin po kami na amin itong Amen itong may isa buhay. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, uh, thank you very much for listening. Nakaupoy may nakuha po kayong aral. At, na, at I mean, upang inyo pong uh, maidagdag. Na, na, po yung, may nakuha po kayong kaalaman upang maidagdag po ninyo sa inyong pagdalo for the mass this coming Sunday. And nawa po hindi po kayo magsasawa sa pakikinig sa salita ng Diyos. At nawa po so baybayan nyo po ang uh, mga upload ko po for uh, every, for the readings and every Sunday. And thank you very much and God bless us all.